Hello, Charlie Sink here. Over the years, I've built a lot of RC model planes, most from kits like this Goldberg Piper Cub, Goldberg Gentle Lady, House of Balsa Tiger Moth, Top Flight Delta Wing, and of course my own designs, Autogyros, Starships, Pterodactyls, Hovering Platforms, Flying Saucers, you know, the usual stuff. Anyway, since pretty much all of my RC models end up cratering at some point in their lives, I didn't want to spend a lot of time and money getting something new in the air. So I started digging around through my supplies. I found a couple of motors, ESCs, and a battery that looked to be about the right size. Some styrene insulation foam for the fuselage sides. Some flight test 10 millimeter Depron for the wing and tail surfaces. Some really nice lightweight foam wheels from a toy RC car. And a clear grain fur 2x4 to rip up for spars. I fly at this smallish grass field, so lightweight models are really the way to go. Um, okay, these guys are having way too much fun. Anyway, with this in mind and the found materials and motors, the idea of a six foot span foamy twin was born. I wanted a low wing so I could retract those nice foam wheels into themselves and a big fuselage so it would look good in the air. I also had a plan for how to do a really simple single spar, single surface foam sheet wing using the flight test 10 millimeter Depron, but more on that in a future video. Once the basic fuselage shape and size were worked out, I put together a quick and dirty subscale chuck glider that had the same proportions and airfoil as the full size model. I like to do this to check stability, get an idea of drag, and figure out wing incidence, the angle of the wing relative to the angle of the horizontal stabilizer, and, and the exact CG location. So this approach is similar to using a wind tunnel to test a subscale model of the full size plane, which happens all the time in aerospace. But since I don't currently have access to a wind tunnel, my yard will have to do. So after a few chucks and some CG and wing incidence adjustments, I could tell that the full size model will fly great. So I could put together a whole video on how to interpret, trim, and adjust a subscale model like this. I find doing this invaluable when designing large-ish RC models. What I like best is that when the CG and wing incidence, wing loading, tail size, etc. is fed into the full size model design, the first flight will always go off without a crash. And usually the model will fly exactly like the chuck glider. So if you guys want to see how I learn stuff from chucking a subscale model like this around in the yard, leave a comment and I'll put together a video showing that. So okay, let's get the foamy twin fuselage built. Here we go.
Okay guys, so here's the fuselage. It's all finished, I'm pretty happy with it. It's super lightweight and uh, pretty sturdy and strong. So uh, I think it'll make a really great flying model. Um, so the next video is gonna be the uh, designing out and building out the wing and building out the nacelles. So uh, thanks so much again for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.